Today, we're going to learn about Christmas. Can you say Christmas? Christmas. We're going to learn how to spell Christmas. We're going to write the word Christmas. We're going to draw something for Christmas. And we're going to make a craft. At the end, I'm going to make a beautiful Christmas painting just for you. So let's dive in and explore Christmas. So we're going to begin with a capital C for Christmas. Next, we're going to add an H. We're going to spell the letter R. So one line down, up, and over. Next is I. So one line down with a dot on top. S. Then a T, one line down, one line across. Then mass, M. Then we'll do the letter A with a circle and a line down. And then one more letter S. And that spells Christmas. And Christmas starts with the letter C. C for Christmas. We're going to do a Christmas drawing. Can you think of some things that we might see during Christmas? Hmm. You can say it out loud. What do you think of when you think of Christmas? That's a really great answer. Well, today we're going to draw Santa. We're going to begin with Santa's hat. Let's draw a nice big curving line. We're going to start at the end of that curve and we're going to draw back a nice smaller curve back in for the other side of Santa's hat. Let's draw some curving lines at the end to make a pom-pom on the end of Santa's hat. Let's add curving lines below to make the fluffy part on the bottom of Santa's hat. Next, we'll draw two lines down, just two small lines down from Santa's hat. Let's draw two little letter C shapes to make Santa's ears. We're going to draw wavy lines below the ears and across. We're going to make Santa's big fluffy beard. And then we're going to draw those wavy lines around and up the other side. Let's draw two curving lines inside the ears details makes our artwork interesting for other people to look at. In the middle we'll draw a nice little curving line for Santa's nose. On either side of the nose we're going to draw a circle to make Santa's 
eyes, ears, eyes, nose, ears, eyes, nose, hat and beard. In each eye, we're going to draw another little circle and color it in, leaving just that nice little circle white. Let's draw a nice big curvy line on the beard for Santa's mouth. And we'll draw a little circle on each end. Look at that happy Santa. Let's grab our favorite art making mediums and let's color it in using your very favorite colors. You can make Santa any colors that you want. All right. Grab your favorite art making mediums and color in your Santa. Once you're done, your Santa drawing is done and you're ready to join me in making a Christmas craft. Hi my lovely friend, it is time to make a fabulous craft for Christmas. We're going to need something to color with. I have some felt markers. We need something to cut with, so I have my scissors. Something to draw with, you can use whatever you would like, and a toilet paper roll, and glue, or tape. We're also going to need a reindeer color, so I'm going to use a beige. I don't have brown. None of my construction paper has brown. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this color, and we're going to be good artists and problem solve this together. So what we're going to do is color in the areas that we want it to be darker brown with our brown coloring medium. First, we're going to fold our paper in half. If we look, our toilet paper roll is just about half the size of the paper. So we're going to fold it in half, long ways or portraits sometimes called hot dog. And then we're going to cut along that line. Cut along our fold line. And now we have two pieces of paper. We can use one to make our antlers and ears and then save the rest and we'll use this one to add on to our toilet paper roll. So now you can either glue it on or add a little bit of tape and tape one side on your toilet paper roll. And then, so that way it looks like that. And now we're going to simply roll it. Done. 
to cover it in a color. And then we can tape the other side or glue it down. And now we have our reindeer color. Next, we're going to draw on our reindeer face. So we can draw with our drawing medium a face onto reindeer. And some fur on its chest. We can draw a snout with a nose. We can also draw two reindeer eyes. And then we're going to find something to color with. It's brown, perhaps. It's reindeer color. And we can color the front of it brown. Okay, so now we need to give our reindeer some ears and antlers. On our other piece of paper, we can draw two reindeer ears. We're going to color the outside part of them so they match the body. reindeer and you can use tape or glue. We got our reindeer with some ears, but it's missing a key reindeer piece, and that would be uh, lovely antlers. So we're gonna draw some antlers. And then we can cut them out. Now, this paper actually is a great antler color, so I'm not going to do any coloring. We always want to use one hand to do the cutting and I'm using my other hand to guide the paper and turn it. So I'm always cutting away from my body so I'm always being safe with my scissors. 
Okay, and then once we have our antlers ready, you can go ahead and either glue them or tape them onto your reindeer. Just like that. Now, if you want a red nose, you just have to get a little piece of red paper. I'm gonna go look in my scrap paper bin. It's always good to recycle. Ah. I always keep my extra bits, because you never know when you want a reindeer nose. We don't want to waste a whole piece of paper just for a teeny tiny red nose. So it's always best to use something from the recycling and then I'm going to put the rest of it back because the rest of it is still good. So I'm going to use, woo, reindeer just went for a dance. My glue this time. I'm going to put my glue on the back. And for a red nose, we just have to take it and add it. Or if you have a pom-pom, you can do that. So you have a nice little Rudolph. Just like that. And once you're done, your lovely reindeer craft is done. All right, let's end this episode with my gift to you, a lovely Christmas painting. So you can sit back, relax, and watch me paint. Today, I'm going to be using watercolor paints. With watercolor paints, you simply have water and a brush. You dip your brush in water, and then you dip in the paint, and you swirl, swirl, swirl to use it. This is called watercolor paper. It's a very thick paper that we use for watercolor painting. Let's paint some holly for Christmas.
friend. Thank you so much for joining me in creating some art, some drawing, and also a lovely craft. Today's episode, we dived in on exploring Christmas, and I hope you enjoyed it and had lots and lots of fun. Until next time, and see you in the next episode, this is Ms. Artastic, sending you some Christmas cheer. And for more kids' art lessons online, visit artastickids.com.